Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Fast Theory. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about dissonance and consonance. What you're hearing right now is an example of consonance. Notice how all the pitches fit together and nothing is clashing. It's all just nice and chill. What you're hearing now is an example of dissonance. This is what happens when none of the pitches fit together. Everything seems to be random. That's better. Why don't we stay here for a bit and talk about consonants more? Because dissonance really just gets me on edge. It makes me feel uneasy. I don't want to spend too much time on dissonance because I might lose my audience. As humans, we strive for consonants. We strive to find that path of least resistance where we seem to just get along with nature. Everything fits together. Nothing is abrasive. And we can just sit down and relax. But that can only last for so long before life inevitably kicks you right in the privates. And there you are again, trying to get wasps out of your kitchen. Like, who the fuck put all these wasps in my kitchen? Why do I have to deal with this shit? Furthermore, where's my wife and why am I alone in my house having to deal with these wasps? That alone is enough to just piss a man off, but add to that the fact that I have to clean my yard and it's just all over. Ah, but it sure is nice when we return to that safe spot where everything is working again. And we can get up when we please and drink coffee and make silly YouTube videos and go to work, earn the paycheck, bring home some delicious food, and go to bed when we feel like it. That's the life. I'll let this sexy guitar solo play you out. That's a nice guitar line. Let's add some consonant thirds on top of it. I bet you won't do that again. Oh my god, he did it again. I bet you won't take out more drums. Did that too. And now to finish this out with consonants. No more dissonance, I promise. Fuck you.